Well, here I am, day two of uh, my trip to the Kennedy Space Center, and uh, today we're going to see the uh, then and now tour, which uh, should be very interesting. So uh, I'm about to go in there and register and show them my passport so that they know who I am. We're going to be going through some security stuff, I think. Not entirely sure, but I'm looking forward to this, aren't you? You know the way it is with tours. Hurry up and wait. Now folks, we have close to 12,000 people to work on Kennedy Space Center. We also have about 1,500 NASA employees working. We have a location there, leave 200 subcontractors, and a subcontractor is a civilian company working for NASA. In 37 states, we have about 500 companies working for NASA. That's due to change because of our breaking down with the cost of production constellation. Now, to your forward right is a Walmart. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't it look like Walmart? You see that building with the blue stripes? What do you think that building is? Yell it out there. Look at it close. You're good. You're good. You ever hear headquarters? That's headquarters. You ever hear Bob Cabana? He's a cool guy, isn't he? He's an astronaut. He is the director of Kennedy Space Center, but not the director of NASA. That's Charlie Bolt. He's in Washington, D.C. And he's a cool guy, too, isn't he? I like Charlie a lot. I like to work with him someday. He's a general now. Now, folks, to your right is headquarters and Bob Cabana's office behind that flag. Does that building look familiar for people my age? How many people remember this thing? Barbara Eaton. I dream of genie. Oh, yeah. And I was just telling these folks earlier, really, that's how it ground me was. She's pretty, isn't she? Barbara Eaton. Now the next building coming up is the ONC ground, uh, ONC building. This is the hotel for the astronauts when they come to Florida for the launch. Now folks, the astronauts live in Texas. They're Johnson Space Center where mission control is, where they train for the mission. That's Texas. Kennedy Space Center, Florida is launch control. We launch Texas Tech. So does that make sense to you? And so, two o'clock are two ships. The sensation is one of them. I don't know the other one. That is Port Canaveral over there. What is it? Disney. Oh, the, oh, is that the Disney ship right there? One sensation, the other one's Disney. Canaveral Airport Station. And at one time, this was a naval base years ago, and then it was turned over to the Air Force uh, for a missile place for launching missiles. Now, I met some of those guys in route, smart men. One guy was from Vanderbilt Air Force Base in California, working that head right over there. Very smart guy. He's a colonel. That hangar's for Pershing rockets. Ever heard of Pershing rockets? Believe it or not, those are the, the Bristol rockets, Mercury Bristol rockets, I almost said Mercury, Bristol rockets that are solid fuel. So I, they, they look a little different though, but inside that building they processed them, processed them years ago. Remember the Cold War in Europe? That's where they processed them. In that same building we have a, uh, a what do they call that thing, a what the sound unit, for looking for features in our booster part parts to make sure we can reuse a booster. A booster is supposed to be reusable 10 to 20 times. So uh, there's an ultrasound unit uh, unit to look into the, the cracks and features to make sure they're okay to use another time. But over here on the left is hangar in for the Pershing rockets. By the way, I think General Barkley was the guy who was in charge of that for a while. It was Maduras. But anyhow, uh, I think he was the guy who called the Pershing. I don't know who it uh, was, but it might have been him. General Pershing, wasn't it? Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, now folks, to your four left is the medical facility for the Mercury astronauts. That's where they checked out, right over here to your left. That building to your four left, right over there. How many remember I Dream of Genie? Yeah. Remember Dr. Bellows yeah. and Major Nelson? Yeah. In the beginning, they were in that building. Then they moved them to Texas. Remember that? They moved them to Texas. Over here on the left, the hangers K and J are for the Atlas rockets for Pad 36, and we're done with that, that pad. We tore down the gantry there. We'll show you after a while. And over here on the right was Hangar L that was torn down for the uh, research for Mars and the space station. Now we got a new place for the research. And over here on the left, is, or on the right, I mean, is Hangar M, the Delta Hangar. The Delta Twos are done. No more Delta Twos will ever be launched from Cape Canaveral ever again. And boy, they were backbone out there. They were good rockets. 
a 99% uh, accuracy. They were good, really good rockets. And, and those are the carriers for the Delta IIs. And the AO was, that's what the satellite was. Check that right there, in that hangar AO right there. Now, Berkeley Mission Control is now at the, at the visitor center. I think you saw it, didn't you? And the, the, Berkeley, the, the mission control for the unmanned launches is right here. Hangar AE is for the, all the unmanned launches. Where's the, where's the manned launch one at? Where's the mission? Houston, Texas, isn't it? That's for the unmanned launches. Now, over here on the right is Hangar K for John Glenn and the chimpanzees and the Berkeley Astros used to stay. Right there. Oh, Hangar S, I mean, Hangar S. Hangar S, I keep saying K for S. Hangar S. And you can be sitting, standing right over there with the, uh, the canteen and drinking a cup of coffee and eating a donut with John Glenn right over there. That's where they stay. And over here is Hangar A. Oh, look right here. Here's some parts, some parts of the booster. See right here, folks? The asteroids and parts of the different segments of it. See the, see the thruster right there, the thruster? Yeah, that's part of the, uh, the shuttle right there, folks. They, they strip them down with a high-speed hose, and they clean them all up, they wash them, they send them, they send them back to Promontory, uh, Utah, to be refurbished. Now look over here on the right. See that boat? There's the, there's the ship right there. There's some more parts. See the parts right there for the boosters? There's, there's a thrustum right there. The parachutes go in the thrustum, folks. Five of them. Oh, okay, now we're going to go on out here and show you around. Uh, there was a guy we had here who was a test pilot years ago, back in the 50s. His name was Ed Brumfield, one of the best test pilots we ever had. And he was working on a guy who used to fly an F-89 Scorpion jet. How many remember the F-89s during Korea? Were, okay. Now, he would chase a, sn a snark, and he would take it out, and inside the cockpit, he'd have a remote control box. He would control that snark, and that snark could fly about 11 hours. He'd fly it about four, maybe five hours out to bring it back. And then it broke through and landed on the ground here by remote control at the skid strip. And most of the landings were good. The problem was after it landed at the end of the runway, there's some high grass, and it still wasn't stopped. It would kind of do a cartwheel and flip and blow up. Number 13 was lost two or three times, I believe. But over here on the left, you can see the, the uh, control tower right there for this skid strip. You see the control tower? Right there. And a lot of big planes come in there. Even the AN-124 from Russia comes in there. And the President of the United States has landed there many times right there. And Air Force One, that's exactly right. And now folks, uh, Mills Old Burnham, the caretaker of the Cape Canaveral Lighthouse, and I think you can see it over there a little bit. This Cape Canaveral Lighthouse right over there. Uh, he was buried over here to the right. Was next to some Indian mounds, right in here. And, and there's another burial place up here, but he was buried in here. And over here on the right, are the bunkers for the Atlas uh, rockets and the uh, Delta rockets for the boosters, right here. This is where they, they were stored, and these bunkers right here. Kind of look like the B-52 bunkers for bombs, don't they? You know what I'm talking about? Remember the H-bombs? They used to be in places like that, folks. It's kind of scary, isn't it? Now, now look over here on the left. I'm going to show you Mercury Mission Control. Not, not the hardware, I'm talking about the outside of the building. Now look to your Ford left. Can you see that tan building to your Ford left about 10 o'clock south of that tree? That is Mercury Mission Control right there. Doesn't look like much, does it? That's the place, folks. That's where they launched it from right there. Where they launched it from, I mean, what I mean is they took trained them to be launched. Put it that, put it that way. Trained them to be launched. Here's, here's a camera to the left. Here's a camera. Why would they have a camera like that? That's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in front of us is where the range safety officer would be located. We called him the RSO. Now, the range safety officer was the person who would blow up the rocket if it came back to land. And once in a while, it would do that. And unfortunately, we had to kill a, a, a monkey one time called Goliath. He was a big one. A chimpanzee, or I guess it might have been a gorilla. But in any case, I felt really bad for that, that animal, but they had no choice. If they come back to land, they could hit you, couldn't they? And we don't want that to happen. So we have a way for safety for everything. If some rocket should go astray, we blow the thing up. And over here to your fore right are the red and white antennas to send out the signal to blow up that rocket if something goes wrong. That includes the show. They know it, don't they? They know it. They've been told. If the shuttle should go astray and come back to land, they know what's going to happen, folks. They're told ahead of time. Did you know that? They know it. Sound quick. Fat quick. Fat quick. Fat quick.
Fed, Fed, Wick, 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 Fed, Wick,